We're here at Not Anchor at Ian. It looks better than my eggs. That place sucked. I'm having biscuits, I don't know. Country fried steak and gravy. Some eggs. Agua. Coffee. Tabasco. No milk. He has his own personal straw that he likes to bring everywhere he goes. This is pretty good. And me. Bang, bang. Welcome back to Truth and Travel, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Vic Ramirez. You can call me Vic. Welcome back to the show. So I have had an extremely exhausting day. I have been editing, writing, editing, publishing, editing, checking messages, sending messages out, communicating with people. I am in for more than what I bargained for, but it's okay. Everything is going well. I'm having a great time in this new career path that I've chose. And that's just to give you guys an update in general. As we go on with this journey with the book that we just launched, it's been an incredible journey so far. So far, we have not gotten any feedback from the book, but we know people have bought it and have read it. We're just waiting for some reviews. I'm ready for anything at this point, honestly. I've already started writing the second volume. That itself is already coming out better than the first one. So I'm really excited about the second volume and as we go on with the rest of the books. We're gonna keep this video short, not too much. I just wanna give you guys some new content and take you guys back on something that I did a while ago for recreation and what I do for recreation. Uh, we're going to talk about guns for a minute. We're not going to get too political because there's a, just so much talk. I don't want to offend anyone and I'm not trying to take sides. However, I am a gun enthusiast. Not to say that I like playing around with guns, shooting it out in the air, but I do believe in protection. I do believe in protecting ourselves. I do not depend on the cops or the police force to come to my rescue when the heat of the action is already taking place. So yes, I am armed. Yes, I do believe in carrying. I believe in doing that responsibly. And yes, you, you should probably get a head examination before you purchase a firearm. With that said, We do know, I've done a lot of research on this stuff. Like I said, I don't wanna to get too political on it, but I feel like it's so important, especially nowadays, that you are armed. Uh, if you take it back to the biblical days and even the beginning, many people walked around with swords. That was to protect them and their family, whoever was carrying. So it's, it's just logical, especially in this wacky world that we live in. I gotta be honest with you, I've been into Bush Gardens several times and I could have brought in a weapon several times. So things like that kind of, you know, make me nervous. They don't even properly check your bags, honestly. And I'm not trying to hold up lines or anything. However, it's very important that people do have the right to conceal, uh, carry a concealed weapon. I've been into my daughter's school and it's like, it, someone can literally just walk in there and tear the whole place up. So they, these are things that are really happening in the world. And like I said, I'm not gonna sit here and play the political game where you know the amendment rights, anything, re regardless if it's a policy or not, everyone should have the right to protect themselves in any kind of way possible. One thing I wanna say, the whole stand your ground rule, I totally disagree with what the gentleman did in Clearwater. I am not on his side at all. However, if the guy was coming up to you know, batter him, I just wanna show you guys for the people who do not own weapons and the people who do not practice their right to have one, I wanna take you guys into one of the shooting ranges that me and my buddies went into uh, a few weeks ago. 
I took video of it, but I was really on edge on releasing it because I was just so afraid because of the political correctness in this country and, you know, just people battering you for or bashing you for no reason. I was terrified to let this video go, but I don't care anymore. I mean, honestly, we're living in a crazy world. This is truth and travel, not false and travel or, you know, fiction and travel. Everyone out there that's skeptical on purchasing a firearm, of course, if you're going to purchase a firearm, you want to keep it safe away from your children. You want to keep it locked at all times and the key available for, for the lock, the key available for the lock when you need it, obviously. And what I did when I first started purchasing firearms, I would do literal drills. I would be asleep. When I wake up, I'll just snap up and I would get up, see how long it would take for me to actually reach my weapon, see where I would have to go to be safe to use the weapon and keep my daughter safe as well. So yeah, I practice these drills all the time. I encourage everyone to get ready for any kind of, you know, you, you get ready for a marriage, you get ready for love, you get ready to learn how to cook and face the world, but there's an actual reality of the world that people are ignoring. And not owning a firearm could be potentially dangerous in many situations and it proves itself every day. I'm not saying let's turn the United States into the Wild West. I'm just saying that I have the right to protect myself and I will practice that right. And it's a logical right. It's not just a right that's on a piece of paper. I mean, let's be honest. The first two minutes or five minutes, I'm on edge the whole time and then you get used to it. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in to Truth and Travel. Uh, check out my new book. We're working on the second one right now. It will be released sometime between November and December. Uh, you could just call me Vic. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm shaking so much from that Red Bull, that's why I don't want to drink that shit. So, right now. So this bitch over here, who's probably gonna try to panhandle, she's dragging these crutches. She don't need these crutches. She's playing this shit off to make it look like she's needy as fuck. Check this shit out. Look at her, she's dragging them crutches around. We're at the uh, intersection of uh, Rosemont and uh, Bonnie, I believe. Bro, this is the most crooked ass, look at this shit. Let's give them some money so they can get some gas. Sure. Good job, gentle chickens. Look at this lady. Look at me. Get that food shelter. out real quick. <laughs> it's a food shelter right down the street. Yo, know, they've got like a, uh, what do you call it, a, a homeless uh, tent, tent city over there on the other side of the highway in the uh, woods. The problem that I have with the homeless because they're not even homeless. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem that we have. There's a lot of people that's in like halfway houses and they appear to be homeless, but they're not because they're literally eating off of our income. And honestly, I think it's bullshit. You I don't agree the, with it. You know about the shelter they built on Newtown Road? No. They had this gigantic three or four story building they built to house the homeless. Wow. Oh, this is a place to sleep after they've been doing drugs all fucking day. That's true. My money pay for that shit. My tax money pay for that shit. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. It's the truth. It is what it is. It is. Nice day.